Peggy 16. Hello world, I'm Trish and this is... I'm Elliot, a multiplayer designer. Yes you are, and welcome to our next Let's Play, which is multiplayer. So I imagine you've been really busy, so why don't you let me know what you've been up to? So one of the things we've done is um, a feature called Quit Match, mm -hmm. uh, and in this feature we've looked at it to try and make it as balanced as possible, um, so we really want this feature to be like competitive basically. Yeah. Um, so what you'll do is from the front end just hit quit match and it will match make you against another opponent based on elo rating and you'll go straight in into a battle fight the battle come out of the battle and you've got a ranking system as well going on with, oh, a, right, okay. with a ladder ladder system so how are you going to ensure that people are always going to be playing someone at the same level as you are so um, like the laddering system you have yeah so here? based on the laddering system and the elo that's involved in that as well as other bits and bobs mm -hmm. we um define which users should get matched against which good users so if you're new to the game mm -hmm. you hit that button you'll get another new player and if you're a veteran you'll get another veteran Okay, and it's just land battles you can do. It's just land battles, just land yeah. Battles, so okay. it's nice and balanced. It's it's this is sort of fair play. Preset maps, everything. Yeah, like we've pick, we've picked a, a bunch of handmade maps which are really really balanced and really really interesting. Loads of mm. cool tactics and strategies you can put down. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, they're in there. They're in cool. all injected. But what's the most amount of people that can play? Is it like four v four, four v three? It goes up to four versus four. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So what else have you been working on? Um, custom battles um, for multiplayer. Basically, we've worked on a few features here, which are really, really cool. One thing that everyone will find is uh, brand new is in previous Total War games, we've only really had three battle types. Mm -hmm. So in this, in Rome, we've introduced nine battle types. Uh, these go from land, naval, and siege, which are your standard ones. Then we've got ambush, river battles, coastal battles. Uh, city assaults, city assaults uh, unfortified city assaults, unfortified port assaults, yeah, we've got a lot, Yeah. <laughs> uh, which is great. So there's loads and loads of variety of battle types there, which you can play and play and play. But of course, to support these battle types, we need loads of maps. Hmm. So we've got a, um, a new system now, which basically gives us thousands of maps. Uh, and we're delivering thousands of maps through the campaign map. Okay. So what you can do in, in the uh, multiplayer custom battle end, is you can load up the campaign map essentially, an image of this, and you can select anywhere on the campaign map that you want to play. Mm. So if you wanted to play, I don't know, in Egypt, you can play, go and play in Egypt, and they'll just click onto the UK and play in the UK. That's pretty so it's cool. It's pretty, pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, one of the things I actually really liked um, when I was playing some of the custom battles, uh, I went down to like the south of England, just started up a battle, and I just had the Stonehenge. Yeah. In one of yeah, my battles, yeah, yeah. and I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they've got some sort of like really cool wonders in there. So if you, again, go back to Egypt, you get the you pyramids. You get yeah. the pyramids. Yeah, so that's cool. really, really cool. And you can also um, have sort of like your own favorite battles. So for example, if you have a custom battle, you just pick anywhere on the map. And you're like, wow, that was a really cool map. I really like that. Can you favorite it? You can yeah, do all you, that. Can, yeah. you can hit save, basically. Make, mark as it a favorite. Right. And um, it'll just be there, remembered. And you mm. can un unfavorite it if you want, if you get bored of it later. Yeah. Um, that poor map. It also shows history. Right. So a history of all the ones you've played. That and um, cool. the quick match battles that we've balanced out, they'll also be chucked in there, as well oh. as a few others from a, from a list point of view. Okay. Uh, so you can easily slip them. And they'll be a, probably a bit more balanced. Yes, they will be, yeah. yeah. So you can play those maps as well through this. Through cool. this um, and you can also do other battles. So for example, like if you went to sort of like the Nile, or if you did. Yeah, um, that, yeah, that's really interesting. So if you, I don't know, like you say, if you played on the Nile, if you clicked exactly where the Nile is, and this title, this um, battlefield happened to be, you would get the Battle of the Nile that we showed off a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. um, the same goes for Teutonberg. If you clicked on Teutonberg in the campaign map, you get Teutonberg as an ambush battle, which is really, really cool. Yeah. Play that one, I really like it. It's yeah, yeah, that one, I like that one too. Uh, and then of course the Grand Carthage. So if you clicked on Carthage, you get that awesome spectacle of Carthage, yeah. um, which is pretty cool. I'm sure everyone will be playing Battle of the Nile. You'd have to play that four versus four, I'd say. It's yeah, four versus four is a lot of fun. Carpet, awesome. <laughs> so yeah. Cool, awesome. Yeah. Sounds great. So there's been a lot of smack talk going around this office, so I think we should take it out on the battlefield. Yep, I'm ready for this. I'm really yeah. going to enjoy this. Cool, who are you going to play as? Uh, probably Pontus. Pontus? Yeah. Hmm. All right, I think I might go as Parthia. Okay. Are you going to be attacking or defending? Uh, I'm going to be attacking, yeah. All right, I'm not a strong defender, so this if I ever I play against someone, <laughs> or if you're playing with me, please put me as an attacker, because I'm not a good defender, so, but we'll see, we'll see. 
Yep, yeah, this is the Battle of uh, Gore. So let's get our troops all lined up and ready to go. Yep. So what are you going to do, Elliot? <laughs> well, I'm not going to tell you too much because I want to leave a little bit of surprise there. But like I'm going to... Uh, well, you won't like this one. <laughs> I'm going to take all my units and probably do a, a pretty much a full surround on you right now. Uh, put you under a little bit of pressure and see how you cope with that. So yeah, how are you going to defend against that, eh? Well, we'll see. We've played in the past. And uh, you did actually take me by surprise from behind the hill over there. So I'm hoping you're going to do the same thing. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not a defensive player. So I'm kind of just scrambling about seeing where I can get my guys in the best. And kind of hope for the best, really. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that battle. I did some really sneaky stuff. So I'm going to hit the start battle button now. Let's get this, get this underway. Put you under a little bit more pressure to uh, sort out your troops. I've um, I kind of spaced mine out a bit for for nice balance. So I've got, you know, that sort of rock, paper, scissors going on in every single area. So whatever you throw at me defensively, we'll I should see. be able to counter it. I don't know. But yeah, Ooh, look at this. This is interesting. I, I've got something on my screen where I can sort of, uh, I'm hiding below a hill. So it's uh, hiding my units out of your line of sight, which we should talk about, right? This new line of sight system we've got is really, really cool. Um, if your units can't be seen by the enemy units, in this case you, <laughs> then uh, you can't see my units at all, which is really, really awesome. It opens up the strategy so, so much. Yeah, can, uh, it's great. And you can see I've obviously made a mistake there because I have three of my units up on that hill there, kind of expecting you to be there. And now I'm scrambling about a bit. So I'm, I'm, I'm definitely a bit worried. I'm sure, you, <laughs> I'm sure you can recover, but I'm going to send my units over there now. I'm putting you under pressure, as you mentioned it. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'm going to micro my cavalry a lot and uh, see if you can keep up with those guys as well because uh, they are quick and great at harassing. I'm just moving my guys forward now, all as one. So you've got to defend on four fronts. Yeah, I'm just going to wing it. Because I don't really like camels anyway, so, you know. I'll just send them straight into your spears. Apparently so. <laughs> Let's see how my pipe, I think they're my pipemen. See how they deal with your uh, spears there and I'm going to bring up some horses up behind you and this is gonna be sweet <laughs> boom straight into your arches no missile support for you like oh, going... one of them's routing already yeah this is going well <laughs> this is going well i better get those guys out soon because you might hit me with your your spears and bring up some missile support too i'm definitely not enjoying this at this point so you've got pretty much full sight on all of my units and my surround now you pretty much know exactly where i am Maybe I can do some little surprise yet. All I can say is cover your uh, rear and cover your flanks. Oh, there, that's exactly what I'm not doing. I'm moving my guys away from it. Pretty much, which is why I'm moving my guys there. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got another unit routing now. You've chucked those guys in. You pretty much gave both of those units up there. Yeah. Because I had two spear, or oh, a spear and uh, spear and flanks and missile support. And now I've got cavalry coming in to finish you off. As you do. It's a good that, move. That was beautiful. I quite, I quite enjoyed that move. Yeah. I don't like losing to it, but I can no. I can definitely appreciate it. I'm going to have to resaw these units now because we've got one of my guys uh, wavering slightly. I'm just going to organise my ranks. I think both of our generals are fighting there. Yes. Kind of a I, I sent him in. Head to head. Uh, <laughs> Might have to retreat him in a second because I don't know if he's going to win this battle, especially now that you've got spears walking up to him. Give him some missile support quickly there. Oh god, you've got some spears coming around the back as well. So I'm gonna... Trying to recover at this point, I'm trying to see what I can do. I'm going to push up around you right now. That's going to put you under some real pressure because you've got to literally defend on three fronts. It's not an easy map to defend on, I think, uh, in my defense. I think it's quite, th there's a lot of tight little alleys. Um, so you basically have to stay in one position or just know where your enemy is coming from. It's really interesting because you can, you can basically, you know, you've got choke points there. Right? Mm -hmm. So if you defend them right with your sort of rock, paper, scissors, you, you have missiles behind and you basically say to the enemy, come on then, if you think it's hard enough. If you do it right and you micro, down all of your lanes, you've got a really, really good chance of defending that capture point. Maybe we should mm. talk about the capture point a little bit because um, basically to win this battle, we've got the standard kill or route, but also we've got this capture point in the middle for the, for the uh, unfortified settlement, right? Yeah. So 
if I capture that, I win. And you're doing a pretty good job of defending that at the moment, but I'm, I'm running some it. cavalry yeah. straight into your arches right now. I've also decided I don't care too much about the capture point, I'm just going to leave it as is. Well, yeah, because I'm pushing on your other front, you'd have to move all your units over, yeah. which you have done. But you're getting a bit of a battering by me at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Quite happy to say that. I'm not, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, I'm routing another one of the units. This is going well, and I haven't even moved up all of my my pikes yet. I'm going to move them forward. Don't even need them. Look at that. This is definitely not my best uh, best planned battle. But I did have surrounded. I had three three other guys watching behind me, giving me strategies and yelling and being like, "Oh, you take this guy, take this guy," and I'm like, oh. so "I'm going to move up my." My sword's now into your general. Let's see if I can kill your general off. And at the moment, my, uh, I've got my cavalry neutralizing your capture point. Cavalry can't capture capture yeah. points, of course, but when they can't capture capture points, yeah. I'll send them in to kill your archers. Might as well. And that's Get a nice charge. And I'll do it straight through to the other ones as well, quickly, like that. Awesome. I've got both of your archers there. I think, I, I think this is going to kick off some form of uh, mass route, I have to say. Yep. I'm just piling through you at the moment. I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not pleased. <laughs> you've gone for a lot of, a lot, a lot of missile units here, and I don't think you've used them brilliantly. At like, yeah, I think, I think if I knew how to kind of move them a bit better um, in the alley, it's just left them in the alleys kind of thing. I also put them. I had a bad starting position on them, and I, I didn't care too much about the capture point. Oh, jeez, you're charging your yeah. Dying. <laughs> Definitely gonna uh, last effort that. there. <laughs> oh, from three sides. Look at that. I've just yeah. absolutely squashed you. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool. That was a really good. It was set. a good match. It was a good match. I, I you obviously. It's, it's all one yellow. Was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was an obvious loss on my part. It was a good game. It I think good. you did yeah. pretty well, to be honest. It was really, really good. There's some cool <laughs> tactics thrown down. I tried to be a bit risky because, like I said, I'm quite an aggressive player. So I was like, I'm just going to go out, I'm going to meet you on the battlefield. But you turned out to be on the opposite end of you the You were risky, that just that was, with the wrong units. Yeah. Uh, but I did, <laughs> I, did, I, did, I did a full surround on you. And, yeah. And had to... Partha is not usually the faction I play with, so. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was a good game. It was a good yeah. battle. I enjoyed it. So there you go. We'll have to have a rematch sometime. We will do. We'll sort yeah. that out. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that and see you next time. Saguntum is lost, and our Western allies have failed us. Where was the last report of his whereabouts? My spies in Iberia tell me his fleet has sailed. We must expect an invasion!